Welcome to the Painting Center. The Painting Center is now open for second graders to use. This is our Painting Center, towards the back of the classroom by the three sinks. Before you may use the Painting Center, you need to have a drawing or a sketch. So what I would do is I would come over to the practice paper and draw a sketch of what I'm thinking about, my idea. Ideas go on our practice paper. When I'm finished with my practice paper, then I come down below and take a piece of the nice painting paper. This is the paper you may paint on. Please do not paint on any of the practice paper. It's too thin. This paper is much nicer. The paper in the middle, that's where we paint. Now, I've already done a sketch and a drawing today, so I want to show you how you would get started. Here's my sketch. I've done a pumpkin and a spooky tree and a moon. And I have made sure the first thing I've done here is I've written my name in a corner. I'm also going to write my class code, UR2G. So please write your name. I just wrote Mrs. M to keep it short today and write 2G so that we know it's yours. Don't write your name after you've already started painting because, well, that makes it really hard to put your artwork away neatly and get your name on it neatly. Now that I have my drawing and I'm ready to get started, I will have the person who's going to sit next to me and I, we will choose which one of us is going to get the supplies. Not, not both people, just one person needs to get the supplies. And you're going to pretend as if you're going to the lunch room. This is your tray. We're gonna gather our painting supplies. You take a tray, a sponge, and a cup of water. The cup of water is for rinsing your paintbrush and making sure it's clean before you move on to another color. Only fill your water up about halfway on the cup, otherwise your water will spill all over your painting. We don't want that to happen. Now I have my water, I can select a paintbrush. I'm going to choose a small paintbrush for my pumpkin and other small areas, and I might choose a larger paintbrush for the sky and some other areas. So maybe pick one or two paintbrushes. Today, second graders, you may use the tempera cakes. Again, you will need to share with a neighbor, or you may use the watercolor paints, which are right next door. Please make sure you clean your paintbrush after you have finished using a color. I'm gonna put these items on my tray so I'm ready to start painting. I'll bring this back to my table, begin my work, and I'll do my most careful and nicest work. Because today there may be more people painting, we're also going to use the orange and the red tables as painting areas. When you are done with a painting or you hear the buzzer that tells us that art class is over, you will then take your painting, even if it's not done, because you can continue working on it, and I will slide it in an open space. Here's an open space on the drying rack. So after I have my artwork on the drying rack, then I can come back and take care of my supplies. I'm gonna bring my supplies over to the counter where I can then pour out my water, put my sponge away, take a look at my brushes, turn the water, and take both of your brushes at the same time to rinse out any extra paint. Just do a little smush of the paintbrushes to make sure the water is out. We always want to keep the bristles of our paintbrush up and keep them nice. Keep their hairstyles very nice. Put them in the cup with the handle side down. I'm gonna take my paints back to where they belong. Slide them back in there. Sometimes the paints get messy, so carry them flat. Put this away, turn off my water, and then I'm ready to sit back down and show Mrs. Miller you are ready to line up.